All right, from left to right, Nakia Teague, Kelva Atkins, and head coach Adele Harris. Coach, we'll start with an opening statement. Well, we're obviously very proud of, of our team finding a way to win. Uh, College Charleston cut it to three uh, at some point in that second half, and uh, we were able to make the right plays, the right decisions defensively and offensively to, to come away with the win. And um, I just told our team in November we wouldn't have won this game. Uh, so we are getting better, and um, we're improving, and we're able to find a way to win games like this, uh, especially at home. So I'm very proud of our team. Any questions? There have been a lot of games that you said that you had second half leads that you haven't been able to hold on to. Do you think it was that kind of being able to find the, the tempo of being able to still run the offense yet try to take a little time off the clock? Well, for us, I mean, we don't really want to take any time off the clock. I mean, we want to play fast. And College of Charleston wants to play in the 50s. Uh, we talked about that, is whose tempo is going to win. And I thought, you know, for the most part, we did a good job of staying aggressive versus their zone. They didn't get us caught in the half court a whole lot. Um, so I'm very happy with our ability to be able to stay aggressive and attack and stay in attack mode uh, for 40 minutes. Um, you talked about that where they cut it to three, um, and Kelvin hits that big shot, um, and, and you guys go on a little bit of a run there. Um, you know, when you have a player like Kelva that can kind of stop another team's run, um, you know, just how how important is that to, to have that player that you can you can lean on to make a shot when you need it? Well, I mean, I think it's always good, and I've never been in this situation here uh, at UNCW, but. Um, when you can go into a game and you know you have the best player on the floor on your team, um, that's always a great security. Uh, so Kelva, you know, gives our team security uh, as well, you know, because we know she's capable of making big plays. But not only that, I thought uh, Bree Mobley had some kind of big shots in there. Um, I thought Teague's play was really, really good. Uh, so we had we had players across the board. I think we had nice balance. Shatia Cole made some plays down the stretch. So I think we had nice balance uh, in that second half while they were trying to pull away there. Nakia, I thought you you played with a, a ton of energy um, <coughs> tonight, and just you know some 50-50 balls that you were able to get to. Um, you had a putback um, that was huge, kind of down the stretch. Uh, just talk about your energy um, and, and what you bring, um, what you brought to the table tonight. Uh, <clears throat> I try to base my energy off my team, so I try to keep my energy high to keep their energy high and try to motivate them to stay positive even when they, we got down by three, up by three. So it's all about balance and not getting too high and not getting too low. Um, Kelva, you guys have, have now won two, you know, open the conference season with two wins at home, which obviously if you want to finish in the top of the league, you got to protect your home court. Um, you know, how important are these games at home, um, you know, to be able to win these and then maybe steal some on the road? Um, it's very important for us to win at home. I mean, that's when we had a stretch where we had all the home games, trying to find a way to win at home. But if you find a way to win at home, then you can definitely find a way to come together and win on the road. So we just want to team playing our best, keep our energy high. What did you see against their zone, um, you know, kind of late in that game that you guys were able to kind of expose them? Um, you know, because it seemed like they were just, I mean, they were just totally packing it in. You really couldn't get anything. Um, down low, um, they were really forcing you out. So what, what you know, what did you see kind of late that it was able, it allowed you to kind of pull away? Um, I thought it was our defensive stops at the end that, it helped, that helped us pull away. I mean, we just want to attack the whole game. So I felt like we did that most of the game. So that's what really helped us. Talk about just riding the confidence of this team right now, two and one in conference play and moving forward uh, and, and pushing through those you know, travels up there, you know, wherever you guys go, the road trips, and being able to keep on picking up wins? Well, with us winning, I mean, our confidence is very high right now. We feel like we can compete with anyone in our league. I mean, we came close at JMU, so I don't think anyone in the league is too high or too low. Everyone's just steady, so if we just keep working hard, then we got it. You've got this, um, Coach, you've got this road trip coming up, um, you know, talking about how you're able to protect home court. Now, how important is it to be able to go on the road um, during this three-game road stretch and, and pick up, you know, a few wins? Yeah, well, there's no question. You know, we got to find a way to do that as well if we're going to achieve the goals that we have for ourselves. Um, and everybody in our league right now uh, is beatable. You know, we're not looking up at anyone. Um, I think we have a very balanced league. Uh, so at any given moment, someone can go down, and we want to be one of those teams um, that gets somebody. 
we were picked to finish 10th in our league. So every game, we're the underdog. And we want to go and try to prove people wrong every time we have an opportunity to play. So uh, we got three opportunities playing first tough teams at Drexel, and then we're at Northeastern and at Hofstra. Um, so it'll be tough, but we got to find a way. What is the next level? I mean, you guys seem like you've turned the corner. You've been able to take those second half leads, win games. What's the next level? Consistency. You know, you can't be one way one day and then a totally different team uh, the next game. We just got to find a way to be it every day in our practice habits, on our preparation every day. And I think if we can do that, just find consistency, uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be amongst the people to talk about at some point this season. Anything else? Ladies, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.